Hi everyone, this is Andy with Bloomberg.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to block time off and use working hours in Google Calendar. Let's start. Alright, I'm already on my Google Calendar account and uh, blocking time off is a feature of Google Workplaces, meaning that this is not going to work with a normal Gmail account. You have to be part of an organization for this feature to work. So to block some time off, First, you have to have the main calendar turned on. This is the first calendar it came with your account. And then just create an event where you would like to block time off. So I'm gonna block this time here, today from one to four. And in this event window, just click on out of office. Here are some options. For example, automatically decline new and existing meetings. So if someone invites you to a meeting on that time, the meeting is going to be automatically declined. So we're going to click on save. In this window, you're going to click save and decline. And now I'm going to block some time off on Friday. So from 10 to 1. Again, out of office. And I'm going to uncheck this option and click on save. This way, we told Google Calendar that we're not going to be available on those time slots. When someone that is part of your organization tries to invite you to a meeting using your email address, they're going to be able to see, even before sending the invitation, that you're not going to be in the office. So they can pick a different time for the meeting. If someone else that is using Google Calendar invites you to a meeting that is happening during the block time, then Google Calendar is going to decline the invitation automatically as long as that option was turned on like we did in this event. All right, now we are going to select the working hours. For example, if you don't work on normal hours, you can change them. To do it, we're going to click on the settings here and go to settings. And then on the general tab, we're going to click on working hours. If you don't have this feature enabled, you can click here and then select when you're working. For example, I'm going to turn Fridays off and I'm going to change Thursdays from 9 to 1. So when a person in your organization is planning a meeting, he or she is going to be able to see that you don't work on Fridays as well as that you don't work on Thursdays after 1 p.m. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and please let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. I also have other videos about Google Calendar on this channel, so feel free to check them out. Thanks for watching.